Okay, so yeah, I have a book to read you today. And this book is one of my favorites. I think it's really neat because it kind of looks like a storybook, but it's really a book that's teaching us something, which is like an informational book. So that's why I kind of like it. It's interesting. And it's called An Egg is Quiet. I love eggs. You love eggs? Yeah. We have the whole entire form of chickens and ducks and animals. So you know about all their eggs. Lots yeah, of animals and I have to speak animals. Yeah. So I understand them too. Good. So not only might we see some bird eggs, maybe chicken eggs in here, but there's all kinds of eggs. And it's called an egg is quiet, which is a weird title. I've never heard. Think about eggs being quiet. It's by Diana Aston and Sylvia Long. And I have a couple things I want us to think about when we are listening. First of all, if you hear this word, clever you're gonna put your hand on your head like this okay so when I read the book if you hear this word clever you're gonna put your hand on your head and we're gonna talk about what this means do you think you've heard this word before no no, no? clever okay it's a new word we're gonna talk about it all right so I'm gonna put it right here it'll probably fall but I'm gonna put it right there and I have the E's are red and the rest of the letters are black because the E's are special letters that are vowels and they help us when we're spelling words and reading words when we know it's a vowel, like clever, okay. All right, so the other thing I want us to think about is this book, remember I said it's gonna teach us something? Yeah. Remember that? So this book is gonna teach us something and every time we get to another part in the book, it's gonna really be teaching us about something different and we call that the main idea. Can you say main idea? Main idea, can you say that? Main idea. Yep, main idea. Say it again. Idea. There you go. Okay, good. So the main idea means it's t it's like what it's all about. So this whole book is called An Egg is Quiet, and I bet it's going to be about eggs. eggs, right? But each section might have a different thing they're going to tell us about. So we're going to talk about that <clears throat> when we get to it, okay? Look at this. Egg. That's a bunch of eggs. So many. So many thousand. eggs. And you know what I knew? It might, I don't know. Well, that's my oh. extra moment. I don't need that one. Thank you. So look at how under the eggs they have words do you see that did you know you see all oh, those little words the dogs. Oh. wait so, that's an egg it, well, they're all eggs and what? it's a funny looking what? one i know we're going to talk about that one later so wait oh, oh my god oh, that's a huge sorry. one my turn can i say something yes, okay, sorry. Good. No, it's okay. so all those words that are under the eggs or this one's actually on top of the egg look how tiny that is by the way they're the names of the eggs. It's telling us the name of every single egg. So this huge one says emperor penguin. And this one is the dogfish egg. And this one is a common mirror, which is a bird. And the, I'm oh, sorry, I'm trying to read upside down, hall finch. So they're telling us all the names. It's called a label. When you see a little word next to the picture like that and it tells you what it is or a part, it's a label. This is baby one. Here's our title page again. It says an egg is quiet and it has our author and illustrator. It also has a um, dedication to my mom, Candy Champion Hutz, who hatched me, which means that she was the one who gave birth to her. But this is what an author does to dedicate a book that they wrote to say, like, thank you to someone or to say this book is kind of written for them. Okay, here we go. Ready? This one is called The Black Necked Stilt. That one's pretty big, didn't it? sits there under its mother's feathers on top, uh, sorry, under its mother's feathers on top of its father's feet, buried beneath the sand, warm, cozy. So there's three different animals and three different types of eggs. Now this one, we can't even see them. They're hiding under the bird. Because yes. they sit on them right there in the nest. And that's Anna's hummingbird. And then this is the emperor penguin that had a nice big one. And they do, the penguins hold the eggs right there. The daddies do it. And then the turtle eggs, actually, this sea turtle buries them in the sand, and then they're born in the sand. That one's called the Kemp's Ridley Sea Turtle. How do they get out? <clears throat> they hatch, and then they go to the sea. It's pretty cool. <gasps> Uh-oh. They did it again. Oh. And this time it says, an egg is colorful. Thumbs up if you see colors on this page. Me. Yeah. Tell Tell me a shout, shout out a color. What colors do you see? Blue. Blue. Green, green, gold, yellow, gold. Oh, oh this one. One. What do you think? Pink. It's like a pink. Yeah. Yeah. All kinds of colors. And it's white. Because it says an egg is 
colorful. So that means this page is all about eggs having different colors, right? So when I see what it says and then I look at it and I see, oh, it has all these colors, that's my main idea. They're telling me something about eggs. They're telling me that they are colorful. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's a field cricket egg. Looks like a banana. And I think it's it's that tiny though. It's Mars. It's Mars and what? What was it? That's what. My favorite cartoon, and the actress thinks she's a Ah, I wonder if she got him at Payless. Mine are like really old. Mine are <laughs> I was just looking at them like, oh. And when they went out of business, I bought every pair. Oh, uh, good idea. <laughs> and A is shapely. That's an interesting word. Brown. Shapely. Oh, wait a minute. Round. Shapely. That kind of sounds like the word shape. Thumbs up if you know that word. You know the word shape? Yeah. yeah, and oh, wait a minute. Somebody said round. <laughs> that one's round, and it actually says it. There are round eggs, there are oval eggs, there are pointy eggs, there are tubular eggs, and that's that funny one. The dogfish. <laughs> the dogfish just look like that. That's pretty funny. So here's the pointy one, the oval one, and the round one. Shapely. So they're talking about how they're all different shapes. That's what the main idea of this page is about shapes. Wait a minute. This one was about colors. And that's colors. And this one's about shapes. Now they have different colors, but they're telling us about the different shapes. Right. Are they ready to like this one? This part. That one's cool. I want the pink one. Listen to this one. Oh, you ready? It's clever. An egg is clever. Oh, oh. Yes, clever! An egg is clever. Wait a minute, we said we were gonna talk about what that means because we never heard that word before. Okay, so I'm gonna read, you can put your hand down. I'm gonna read a little bit and then we'll try to figure it out. Okay, so let's take a, this is a pretty cool picture. So this is what it says. The markings on some eggs help them blend in with their surroundings, which means what's all around them. This is called camouflage. Camouflage is an egg's way of hiding. Ooh, I wonder if we can find the egg. Don't say it yet. See if you can find the egg in this thing. An egg might be speckled to resemble the rocks around it. So it looks like it, right? Or it might be gray, the color of mud by a lake. An egg does not want to be eaten by a raccoon or a snake or a fox or an insect. So they're hiding in camouflage, right, trying to look like other things so that they don't get eaten, and that's why they're so clever. Hmm. All right, now I see a hand up, and I know I said don't say it, so thank you. Point to if you think you find an egg. Oh, everybody's pointing somewhere. Oh, I don't know, let's see. Okay, so right here, guess what? I don't know. Right here it says Sudi Turn, which means that's the egg, it's right here. Wait, that's pretty what? cool, it was hard to tell because it looks like the rocks around it. What? So when it says that the egg is clever, let's think, well, the egg is hiding. That's kind of smart, right? If it knows how to hide. Um, do you guys ever hide, like hide and seek? Yeah. And you find a good spot? If you can find a good spot to hide, then you are very clever. I want that too. And clever means smart. Have you heard that word before? Smart. smart? Yeah. Yeah, that's what clever. It means you can kind of figure things out. And this egg figured out that it should look like the other things around it so that it can hide. All right, let's see. Next part. Eggs come in different sizes. Oh, this one is big. big and this one, these are small. Small, right? Or There's small. only two. There's only two this time. But guess what? If we look at this page again, look at all the different sizes. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Ready? Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. This says ostrich. That's a kind of bird, a big bird, and it says, an ostrich egg can weigh as much as eight pounds. It is so big and so round, it takes two hands to hold one egg. Put out two hands. You would need to hold your hands like this. That's what? Hold on. You would have to hold your hands like this in order to hold an ostrich egg, and I think it would be like this big. I've never seen an egg that big, but then it says, that is only about one hand. hummingbird egg are the size of a jelly bean. Show me a jelly bean size. What do you think it would be like? That's a big jelly bean. Jelly beans are little. And it would take about 2,000 hummingbird eggs 
to equal the size of one ostrich egg. 2,000 would have to go in there. So they are different sizes. And look, you see at the top? Tell me if you think you know. Actually, put your hand on your head if you think you know what this looks like. If you think you know what this part right here looks like, go like this. Ooh, okay, what do you think? It's a, it's a mud one. Guess what? Hold on, it's a measuring tool and it's called a ruler. So doesn't a ruler have to do with sizes? When you measure something, it's about size, yes. right? So wait a minute, this ruler is talking about sizes. This says eggs come in different sizes. And then there's a big and a little, which are sizes. And then this tells me how big the ostrich egg is. And this tells me how little the hummingbird is. So this page is all about, hmm, what do I think? I think this page is all about if it says, Eggs come in different sizes. There's a ruler that has to do with measuring and sizes. What do you think this page has to do with? What is this page all about? Eggs. Eggs. Mm. Yes. Mm. Guess what? This whole book is about eggs. That's true. But what are they telling me about eggs? That they come in different sizes. sizes. And that's what this page is all about. All right, let's try the next one. An egg is artistic. Do you guys go to art? Yeah. Yeah. Do you like, um, let's see, thumbs up if you like to draw. Thumbs up if you like to paint. Thumbs up if you like to do Play-Doh. Thumbs up if you like to color. All of that has to do with art, right? And if you're artistic, it means that you are, you're doing those things, right? You can do those things, you can be creative, you can paint and color. Yeah. And this says an egg is artistic. Do you think an egg goes to art class? No. Oh, that's so silly. But look, an egg is artistic. Do you see? Do you see all the different designs on these eggs? Yeah. Point to which point to which design you like. They and they all look different, right? <clears throat> because not only do they have colors, but look at that. And this has spots and ooh, that has like lines all around it. I, I like I, the pink one. I was pointing to that one. I like the oh, yellow one. That. that one looks really different. That looks right? like a coconut. <laughs> <laughs> and then this one is just like circles that are. They're little big dogs. Oh, yeah, I think they are. You're right. And they look like little tiny oranges or something. And it yeah. says all eggs on this page are larger than the actual size. Would you see that again? The labels that tell us what they are called. So when this says <clears throat> an egg is artistic, they're talking about all the like the designs and the drawing and the colors, and they're showing how they're all different. That's why this page is all about being artistic. All right, here we go. Let's see what this. Oh, I wonder what this one's about. <clears throat> hmm. Let me look at these eggs. Oh, which one do you think <clears throat> feels funny to touch? Which egg do you think feels funny? Do you think it's this one too, or which one? Okay. Now, do you know, like, you almost can feel that that would be bumpy if you touched it. Now, my page is not bumpy, but this egg would actually be bumpy to touch. <clears throat> this one would be nice and smooth. Guess what? This one is dewy. These are, these are frog eggs, and so they would be, like, down in the water, and they're really gooey. Oh, design. <clears throat> this one is soft, and this one is hard. So, hmm, can you imagine... A hard egg. Imagine feeling a hard egg. Imagine feeling a soft egg. I've never felt a soft egg. Imagine feeling a gooey egg. And then <clears throat> imagine feeling a bumpy egg. Like if you go like this and you can feel that it's bumpy. So this page, even before I read it, what is this page about? Hmm. Frog eggs. Yes, it's about eggs for sure. What is it telling me about the eggs? Let's think about this. Is it telling me about the colors? Yeah. No, it didn't talk about colors yet. It, did it talk about the sizes? Yeah. Yeah, that was on this page over here. It talks about the sizes. <clears throat> this one has all different eggs and how they feel, right? Like I could touch them and they feel different. It says an egg is textured, which means the way it feels. Feel the carpet. The carpet feels one way, right? Wow. And then feel your pants. My, that feels a different way. My, my hands and I feel my boots. Boots. I feel yeah. your boots, and that's yeah. even different. This would be more like these eggs right here. Yeah, it has two tiny gums. So the, this page right here is all I about how the eggs feel and how they can feel different ways. All right, hands on your lap.
Ow, it burned my hands. Good, thank you. All right, here we go. Ready? My carpet's burned my hands. An egg might even be fossilized. What's that? Oh, the dinosaur. This is a dinosaur, and it says an egg might be fossilized, and that just means that it's so, 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 so old that it got hard like a rock. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. An egg is giving. Guess what kind of egg this is? Chicken. A chicken egg. A fish egg. Okay. Now, this page is really different because oh, this yeah. page. This page, when I look at this page, I think, hmm, there's something new on here that I haven't seen before. It has this line and then the pictures that go along the line. And what they're doing is showing us how these eggs grow up, how it shows on the inside, how it grows up. But I really noticed that when I look at it. But I know that this page must be talking about something different than this page and the other page. It's all about eggs, but they're all teaching me something different. This one said an egg is giving. That's a funny way to talk about eggs. But what comes out of an egg? Think about it for a second. Bird. Put your hand up if you know what comes out of an egg. Well, we all know. What do you think? A chicken. What do you think? Um, eat egg. But do you know the stuff that you eat of eggs? Yeah, like you eat the egg, right? Okay, that yeah. comes out. What Fish. else? Fish. Oh, there's all different eggs. And things come out of the egg. The egg gives us something. So this is showing how the chicken grows. This is showing how this fish, a salmon, grows. And then this one is showing how the grasshopper grows in its egg. What's and how the that? egg gives you it. So I think this is, hold on. That's a laminator. Protein, oh, that was the protein protein. This is the chicken egg. That's the chicken egg. So it says, an egg gives the little creature growing inside it everything it needs. The shell is its home. The yolk is its food. The egg white or albumin is its pillow. The shell is covered with teeny tiny holes which allow air to enter. So they're also telling us, not only does the egg give us what comes out, but that the egg gives the little thing inside of it all the things it needs. It gives us air and it gives it, gives it right. its food, right? So this is all about giving. The eggs are giving. All right, we have a few more. Do my baby. And Suddenly, this egg is quiet right now, right? <gasps> Suddenly. And that's on the back page too. Is it? And this one's called the black neck stilt. Must be a big bird. Okay, ready? Um, Suddenly, on the back page. I wonder what's gonna happen. The bird, that bird's gonna <clears throat> steal it. There's a hole, there's a big <gasps> hole. Right there it is. Oh, fish. what's happening? It's cracking. Cracking. Oh my I gosh. <gasps> An egg is noisy. And what are they saying? Cheep, 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 cheep. Because it came out. So now it's not quiet anymore because the, egg, the bird came it's out. It's this cold. is that black neck still bird. And then over here we have green vegetable bug and a passion vine caterpillar. Well, look at mama. Yeah. Um, how oh, he's are... over here. We don't get to see them in this. In this. Mm. Uh, so, mama. so an egg is quiet and then something comes out and then the egg is... And now what do we say? All the birds that came out and things that came out, not just birds, there's also the iguana and the ladybug. This, so look at this, ready? This was the eggs and this is what comes out of the eggs. Pretty cool, huh? I love iguana. So think about it. Don't say it yet. Keep it in your head. And when you know your answer, you're gonna go like this, okay? What was this whole book about? Oh, we all know. Tell me on the count of three. One, two, three. Sizes. Birds. Oh, we got a lot of answers. Okay, so let's think about this. This is hard. This is hard stuff. Okay, you ready? Wait a minute. Did we hear about sizes in this book? Did we yeah. talk about that? Yeah. yeah. Did we talk about birds? Yes. Did yeah. we talk about eggs? Yeah. Yes. So, but we have to figure out what is the whole book about? Well. It says an egg it's is quiet. quiet. And then I see an egg on the front. Okay. Well, when I look at all these, oh, eggs. Lots and lots of eggs. Eggs. Oh. That's the one I saw oh. on the back page. What's this? Eggs. Cut for eggs. What's eggs. this? Still eggs, right? 
egg. The, yep, and he's over here hiding. I didn't like this. Oh, this one. one. Wait, what's on this page? Eggs. I hear a lot of eggs. What's this whole book about? Eggs. eggs. Now, wait a minute. I have another hard question. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so let me think about this. Remember I said that the whole book is about eggs, but that each part of the book is going to teach us something else, and it's called the main idea. Can you say main idea? Main idea. Main idea. Excellent. So I know that there's other things they told me about eggs inside the book, right? Okay. So I heard someone say sizes. Uh, that was probably me. That was me. No, that was me. That was me. Oh, and that this? was me. Okay. I remember. I heard you say sizes. Do you remember that this page talked about a big one and a little one? Yeah. Yeah. This page was all about sizes. Wait a minute. Let me go back. <clears throat> oh, don't say it yet. Stand up if you know the answer. Oh, I didn't say. Oh, wait, you don't know yet. What is this page all about? Stand up if you know, but don't say it yet. Thank you for staying quiet. What was this page all about? So it's not about eggs because well, I want to know what are they telling me about eggs? So she thinks she knows. What do you think? Do you remember? Color. <gasps> this was teaching us that eggs are colorful. Fabulous. I love the pink one. Good. Color. All right, have a seat. I like the so moon. wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This whole book was about eggs. eggs, but we also learned something about eggs. Eggs are colorful. colorful. Eggs come in different sizes. This was about the eggs in their shapes, right? And that's the main idea of each part. The whole book is about eggs, but every part of the book told me something different about eggs. Okay.